I've read a number of Stephen King books and I've usually liked them. But when it comes to TV or movie adaptations, his stories seem to be difficult to handle because I'd say the vast majority have been pretty bad actually. But then of course there's also been some really good ones like The Shining, Misery, Shawshank Redemption and The Green Mile. So it's definitely not impossible to adapt his stuff into a great movie. That being said, I haven't read Pet Cemetery, and I haven't actually seen the original movie either. So I went into this knowing next to nothing about it, and I'm glad I did. Because I really like the story here, I like where it went. And just like basically any Stephen King story, I didn't know where it was going. I thought I did early on, but then it went places I never expected. But what's the premise here? Well, it's a pretty classic horror premise actually. It's about a family that moves into a new house, surrounded by woods. They're a seemingly normal family with two kids and a cat. Speaking of which, the cat was a little uh, wonky, I guess you could say. It has a fairly big role in the movie and it needs to do some things. It can't just sit around looking confused like most cats in most movies. And I think it was a mix of a real cat, a puppet and CGI. At least that's how it seemed. Because some of it looked absolutely great and some of it looked kinda clunky. And I do get it, getting a cat to work in a movie is almost impossible. At this point you basically have to get a top-notch animator to do the whole thing in CGI. It's pretty much the only way to get it to do what you want it to do, while looking consistent. So the cat, it wasn't fantastic. It was just a little inconsistent. But anyway, enough of that. The family is basically looking for a quiet life in a more rural area, away from the city. But very quickly strange things start to happen, this time involving a pet cemetery. And knowing Stephen King, I expected it to get interesting, which it did. However, I didn't expect it to get as twisted as it did, but I kinda loved it. I mean, it has this sort of morose, subtle, comedic tone to it toward the end. And I don't know if that's in the novel or if it's just this movie, but I liked that a lot. That being said, I didn't love the movie as a whole. I thought it was just okay. Mainly because I feel like the execution just didn't do the story justice. The movie kinda lacked atmosphere, it didn't feel as creepy as it needed to be. It also looked pretty bland, it basically looked like most modern horror movies. Just a little bit too clean and sleek for the kind of movie it is. I would have liked a greedier production design and a moodier cinematography. Because as it is, it just blends right in with most other horror movies and it doesn't stand out. At least visually, but as I said, I do think the story holds up very well. I mean, it's been decades since the movie came out and it still feels basically timeless. There wasn't much about it that felt dated and the ideas don't feel like they've been done to death either. It felt surprisingly fresh and interesting and the same story could take place at almost any time. The era doesn't really matter, it works just as well now as it did 30 years ago. But unfortunately the filmmaking in this was just sort of unremarkable. There wasn't really anything that impressed me that much or blew me away. The acting's fine, the pacing's decent, everything works more or less. But as a whole it's nothing more than just an okay movie that fails to stand out. Which is a shame, but based on the few opinions I'd heard of it, before actually watching it, I didn't expect any sort of masterpiece either. So I wasn't exactly disappointed, but I do think it could have been done better. But would I recommend it? Uh, if you're bored and just want to watch a random horror movie, maybe give it a look. It's not terrible, but I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it, so it's pretty safe to skip to. Or do whatever you want, I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to buy myself a property with some creepy woods. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.